In 1879, Charles Darwin wrote to his colleague Joseph Dalton Hooker about an abominable mystery in the fossil record. He was perplexed at how rapidly major families of flowering and fruit-bearing plants, known as angiosperms, emerged during the Cretaceous, over the span of just 10 million years. The oldest known fossils of angiosperms date to around 135 million years ago, about 10 million years before this explosion of diversity. Now researchers are using tools in molecular biology and fossils to shed light on this fascinating history. In 2019, researchers turned to chloroplasts, the organelle in plant leaves that convert sunlight into energy via photosynthesis. Chloroplasts are a great tool for understanding plant evolution because it's easy to extract them and sequence their DNA. Changes in that DNA from species to species can reveal how closely different plants are related to each other and when certain species and groups of species evolved. Researchers sequenced the chloroplasts of plants from angiosperm clades, groups of plants with a common ancestor. They used the oldest fossil of major clades to calibrate their molecular analyses. Next, researchers analyzed genetic markers in living plants to understand when their genomes might have diverged from their ancestors. This led to a much earlier date for the origin of angiosperms, more than 200 million years ago in the Upper Triassic, versus the oldest angiosperm fossils, which date to 135 million years ago. Molecular analyses also suggest an earlier explosion of angiosperm diversity in the late Jurassic and early Lower Cretaceous. Another clue to this mystery comes from the flowering plant's helper, pollinators, including butterflies and bumblebees. As with angiosperms, recent molecular evidence has placed the origin of pollinating insects further back than the fossil record. The earliest fossil evidence for Lepidoptera, for example, an order of insects which includes butterflies and moths, was from 195 million years ago. But molecular analyses suggest that they've been around since 300 million years ago, predating the new estimate of the origin of angiosperms by tens of millions of years. In the past, researchers thought that the shift from wind pollination in non-flowering plants, or gymnosperms, to animal pollination in angiosperms led to more diverse flowering plants. But recent discoveries show that some extinct gymnosperms were pollinated by insects, complicating the story. Other questions remain, including whether certain characteristics in plants, such as long floral tubes, formed in response to longer pollinator tongues or the other way around. The discovery of new fossils and studies that use similar methods in calibration could further illuminate exactly when certain insects and plants emerged. For now, the answer to Darwin's mystery well over a century later? It's still complicated.